Hello everyone, how are you? We missed you so, so much. Every teacher in Sunday school, every servant is sending their love, hugs and kisses to you all. We hope you're well, taking care of yourself. You must have enjoyed some snow and uh, we hope to see you back at church in Sunday school. Today we have a very nice story at Sunday school. Before I tell you what's the story, let's pray together. So let's stand up. Hold our three fingers together, close our eyes, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. So, what is the story of today? The story is about a very nice person in the Bible called David. David was a very good man and he really loved God so much. He prayed to God all the time, and I will explain to you his story. So what did David work as? David was a shepherd boy. What does it mean, a shepherd boy? It means the one who takes care of the sheep. You know the sheep? Those white, small, they're not really small, they're that maybe big. Uh, they say, ma, 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 and they're so chubby, and their fur is white and curly. Uh, so shepherd boy means taking care of shepherd, uh, taking care of sheep. So David used to take care of sheep, which means what? He used to take them out in the land, let them eat grass, drink water from the lakes. And David was always praying to God. Why? So first of all, we always ask for God's help for anything and for everything. Like in the morning when we wake up, we say, good morning, Jesus. Thank you for a new day. Take care of us. And before we go to bed, we say, good night, Jesus. Thank you for a wonderful day. Take care of us through the night and let us see a new morning tomorrow. David used to pray all the time. And while he's taking care of the sheep, what used to happen? Some big animals used to come and want to eat those sheep. For example, one time there was a big bear. Bear is huge and extremely scary and very dangerous. But what do you think David did? Immediately David closed his eyes and prayed to God and said, God, protect me from this bear. I cannot do anything to the bear, but you can. And the bear turned and went away. He did not eat any of the sheep because bears would like to eat sheep. Who else would like to eat sheep? Imagine what big animals that are scary and roaring. Lion, got it right. Lions love eating sheep and lions are very, very dangerous animals and very scary too. And no one can like, you know, tell the lion, go away, don't eat me or something like that. So what did David do? He prayed, he closed his eyes, prayed to God, Dear Lord, take care of me and my sheep and let the lion go away. And this exactly used to happen a lot. So God loved David so much. God loves that we speak to him, that we pray to him, that we sing to him. This makes God very happy. Like singing at church is a sort of prayer. It's another type of prayer. When we sing at church, it's like praying to God. And that makes God so happy. So whether we speak to God, whether we read the Bible, whether we say a song at church, this is all considered prayers and it's very nice. A short prayer can be, thank you, Jesus. Oh, you cannot imagine how God loves our prayers. And this is how God loved David because David always prayed to God and he was a little boy. He was actually not strong. But with God's help, he was very strong. He took care of his sheep. He always uh, escaped those dangerous animals. 
and was always happy with his sheep. What else did he do? So because God was so much with David, David used to sing, like praying to God during his work. So the sheep are around him. He used to love singing, saying praise for God. So one of the things, I'll just show you this picture. So this shows David sitting here, his sheep all around him. And this thing he's holding is called a harp. It's a musical instrument. It makes very nice music. So he used to sing, plays the harp, watches over the sheep, and always thanks God. Because this is the most important thing that made him so, so powerful. So there is a very nice line called, I will praise you, O Lord, with my whole heart. So this line is from the Psalms that David used to sing. What did it say again? I will praise you, O Lord, with my whole heart. Let's say it again. I will praise you, O Lord, with my whole heart. So I will praise you, O Lord, with my whole heart. Let's learn this by heart. Let's try to remember it tonight before we sleep. I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. So I will praise you means I'm praying to you. I will always say good things to you. Okay, so let's say it one more time. I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. So David used to sing, you know, these th songs all the time as prayer to God. And really God loved it. If you know, there is, you know, the Psalms book? The Psalms is the Agbia. This small book is having prayers and psalms are written by David. These are very, very nice prayers. Very soon you will be able to read them and together we will pray from the Agbeya. So for today, we want to remember the verse, I will praise you, O Lord, with my whole heart. Again, I will praise you, my Lord, with my whole heart. And remember that the psalms which are written by David in the Agbia, are very nice prayers that my, our mothers and fathers, our abunas at church, always pray from. They're very nice words and songs that David has written in prayer to God. Okay, so do you remember the, the verse? Try to remember, I will, I will praise you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will praise you, O Lord, with my whole heart. So this one we want to remember for today. And one of the things that can be very nice to do at home is to sing together. I don't know if you remember, there was one song we sang long time ago in Sunday school. Um, I'll just bring it here.
Did you remember the song? Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. We can sing it with mom and dad, with our brothers and sisters at home. It's such a nice song. I want you to always remember it and sing it. Um, there will be also sending to you this picture to uh, color. So this is David with the heart and the sheep around him. And you will color, you know, the trees in green, the grass in green, the sky in blue. You can choose whatever you want for David's clothes. And this is the harp. So enjoy this coloring activity for our lesson today. And before we conclude, we'll pray one more time. Let's stand up, put our fingers together. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Looking forward to see you soon. Enjoy yourself and goodbye.